Hello everyone again, it's time to read the Bible in Advent and we're turning now to Luke's Gospel and we're seeing his account of how the birth of Jesus was foretold because in each Gospel account we get a little different perspective on who Jesus is and what he has come to do. So turn up to Luke chapter 1 and let's read the Bible in Advent. Luke chapter 1 beginning at verse 26. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, now Elizabeth is the mum of John the Baptist. You can read about that miraculous pregnancy earlier in Luke's Gospel. But in this sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. So we saw in Matthew's Gospel an angel appearing to Joseph and uh, now we see an angel appearing to Mary, the angel Gabriel, and so two angels, uh, or is it the same angel, not exactly sure, uh, come to both parents and uh, we see that Joseph is a descendant of David. That's significant in terms of the lineage of Jesus, but uh, let's see what uh, what's Mary's reaction to this angel. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. So straight away in Luke's account of Jesus, his biography of Jesus, the supernatural is at play. We must remember that we are believing in a, in a God who's able to do miracles, to do um, things that we, we wouldn't normally see. And so here we have two miraculous conceptions, both uh, Mary and also Elizabeth. So as we come to Jesus, we need to tune our hearts to the miraculous, knowing that God is able to do uh, wonderful things to achieve his purpose. But let's have a look again at uh, how this account of Jesus uh, describes who he is so we can grow closer to knowing Jesus. Well, we see uh, he's to call him Jesus, as we saw uh, from last time, and uh, he will be great. So this Jesus will be someone great, someone worthy of, uh, of honor. And he will be called the Son of the Most High. So this child to be born is going to be uh, the Son of God himself. God's Son is going to be born in, uh, through, through Mary. And so uh, here is the divine human, uh, the Son of God, uh, about to come into the world. And then it says the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. So all that is wrapped up in the, the kingship of David and all the promises that uh, are promised about the, the line of David. Uh, he's, this son is going to get the, the throne of David. He's going to rule over God's people. And that rule will never end. His kingdom will never end. And so uh, for you today, maybe, uh, maybe you have doubts about Jesus' rule or question uh, his rule uh, either over the world, you know, is Jesus in control, or even over your life. You know, should I let Jesus, uh, should I be obedient to Jesus and do what Jesus says? Remember that Jesus is great. He is the Son of the Most High, the Son of God. He has the throne of his father David, and this kingdom will never end. And so let us be like Mary and respond saying, I am the Lord's servant. If this is who Jesus is, then we are uh, to serve him with all that we have in our lives. We're to worship him and obey him this day and every day.